Hi there, I'm Michael Posnick, and today we're going to be experimenting with a couple new products. Uh, we're going to be experimenting with Google, Google Street View, which is an absolutely amazing product that's going to change the world. And today I'm trying it with uh, Camtasia we're using as a recorder on the Mac. So uh, basically I'm going to give you the quick 50 cent tour of Google Street View. I'm sure there's all kinds of better videos with a thousand times more detail. But basically, I just want to show you how it works and um, what we can do with it. So the first thing you do is go to your browser, type in maps.google.com. So it shows you a picture. In my case, since I'm located in Canada, it's showing us a picture of North America, Canada, U.S., and, and Mexico, Caribbean. So what you can do is you can type in an address. For instance, we'll type in the... Century 21 office uh, in Summerside, 629 Water Street East. And I usually use spaces. I find that spaces work better than commas. Type in the city, which is Summerside. And I use the two letter abbreviation for the province, which is PE, and the two letter abbreviation for the country, which is CA. And I find that works about the best. And I just press enter. So then it shows us a map. And on the left-hand side, it shows us other stuff um, that might be located near that address. In fact, it shows a few of the businesses that are located in the plaza. So from this view, we can see the map. The A represents the, the address that we, uh, we typed in. And the tr here's the little trick. You grab the little man. You can see the little man there in the top left. When I hover over him, he jumps out. So you grab the little man and you drag him to where you want the Google Street View. And I just want to, I'm just holding the left mouse button down here now, but you'll notice any of the streets that the Google uh, Street View people took a vehicle down are in blue. So you will not find um, any video recording on those streets that aren't highlighted in blue. For, for instance, over here, we can't, we can't put him there. If we release, he'll just jump back. We grab him again, we drag him, like if we want this street here, this little dead-end court, they didn't go down there, we release, and he jumps back. But what we're going to do is we're going to grab him, and we're going to put him right where the A is. And we're going to release him there. If you can just I don't know if you can see it with this uh, with this video, but you can see the arrows pointing to the north. So when we release this button, I'm just gonna. There we go. We're pointing towards the north, and you can see in the little thumb wheel, very very small, but it shows you basically what we're gonna see when we release the left mouse button. So I'm gonna release. There, perfect. Um, usually it's within a couple of buildings. They do say that the you know Google Street View is in a hundred percent because I believe they use the geo coordinates, but it's it's pretty good. Um, so there's the Century Twenty One building. We can see the street was being worked on at that point, and we can do a, a few different things from this from this point. Um, you can't drive into the parking lot like it shows you that circle, and you can't drive into the parking lot obviously, but what you can do is over here you'll see a plus and a minus in the left hand corner and if you hover over it, it will tell you what it will do. Like if you hit the plus it will zoom in, if you hit the negative it will uh, zoom out. So we're going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in on my car. I was at the office that day. The resolution's pretty good. I mean obviously it's not a hundred megapixels or anything, but it's pretty good. And there's my car right in the middle. There's my car, the blue one, in between the two, uh, the two black ones. So then we can zoom back out to where we were. And as we're doing this, in the bottom left-hand corner, it shows us the map. And you can, you can also, well, I'll get, I'll get to that little map in a second. Um, you can move your position by clicking on these arrows. So we're clicking down to the right. We're clicking, clicking to the left, so we can move up and down the street. And if you turn down the street, you'll see a little arrow 
or a little oval, I should say, in front of you. You can click on that. At least you were able to. It's letting me down here. Let's see why it's not doing it. Usually you can just click up the street and it will let me go up and down the street. In this case it's not. Hey, I'm a liar. Maybe they changed it. I know you can click on the arrows and move up and down. Um, if you look at the map here in the corner, it will show the little man and it will point in the direction of the map. And I think you can bring the map up by doing that. So now you have a split view. We can see the map at the bottom, street view here. And let's go somewhere a little more interesting than Summerside, Prince Edward Island. Let's go and instead of typing in an address, we're going to type in a place, which is really neat because you can use Google to search places as well. So we're going to type in CN Tower, which is in Toronto. So we don't need to know the address. And there it is. And it lists on the left-hand side CN Tower. I guess it has it from both sides, from the north and the south side. And then they've got the CN Tower restaurant. So again, we can bring the little man down here. Again, you can plunk them in any of the streets that are blue. It looks like Toronto's covered fairly well. We'll make this smaller by clicking the top left-hand corner. And somewhere here, CN Tower should be to our right, if I remember correctly. And this is really amazing. You can actually look up. So there's the CN Tower. And all I'm doing is I'm clicking the left-hand button. Oh, need a taxi. There's a bunch of them waiting there for us and you can move up and down the street. I don't know why it's not letting us. I know you can do it that way. I was playing with it before. You could actually click down the street and it would bring you down the street. But it's proving me a liar today. Let's go back to street view. So literally you can drive around town. Yeah, this is a little more interesting than Summerside. There's the uh, Sky Dome. And let's say, for instance, we wanted to go to the other side. Again, you can change the plus and the minus here in the top left-hand corner of the map. And what we can do is we can move our little man on the map to the other side to get a better view of the Sky Dome. Make the map smaller by clicking the left-hand top corner. We should be able to see that's... Yeah, I guess we're too close. Yeah, we can't really get a good view because we're standing so close. Um, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to Niagara Falls. It looks like it's putting us right in the water. So I don't know what's going to happen here. Probably won't let us uh, land there. No, it wouldn't. So we're going to go here. Now, I don't think we're going to see the falls. I think the falls are going to find further up here. Where are we? Rainbow Bridge. So the falls would be somewhere around here. And the falls should be behind us. And there's the falls. And again we can drive up the road we look to our left, there's the American Falls. One thing you'll notice here is all the uh, people and the license plates of the cars. You can double click on that. No. Sometimes it will zoom in. It'll show like the license plates of the cars and so forth are all uh, blanked out. This one, for instance, is actually pretty good. We can read all the writing on the truck and everything. But a lot of that stuff has been uh, blurred. Like you see the license plates of the cars, they've been blurred. So anyway, that's basically Google Street View. The, the other interesting things, you know, you can link to it. So if you're putting this on a website, you can just click the link button at the top right and grab that link and put it into the website or embed the uh, um, HTML. And you can do anything else you can normally do with, um, with Google Maps, and I won't get into that, but you know, of course, you can do your satellite and your terrain map and photos if you want photos. Of course, Niagara Falls being the number one tourist destination on the planet.